In this episode of our Nice Sports series, surrounded by skyscrapers, we roll with Hong Kong skaters and get a peek into their skating community. Kenneth. And today we are going to try a very cool sport, which is skateboarding. Skateboarding, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Skateboarding as an action street sport can be traced back to 70 years when California surfers wanted an activity when the waves were down. It's grown to be a recreational activity, an art form, and even a means of transportation. Now, this sport has become a common activity around the world and is supposed to make its debut at the Tokyo Olympic Games. In Hong Kong, around a thousand people regularly practice it, according to Kate. Today, I will try to become a skater and let's start with how to pick up the boards. So this time you need to press your feet, maybe right feet is good, hands out and tap like this. Try it. Good yeah, thanks. harder, go harder. Yeah! Second oh, yeah. try, you made it! Nice! What comes next is determining your stance. Which means which feet you're going forward on your skateboard. So, have you been surfing, uh, surfing or snowboarding? Yes, I've been surfing. I so, surfing. yeah, so which way you go forward? Maybe right or, right or left? Normally, I will do like this. Yeah, like for me, I go for left. But if, maybe later when you're on skateboard, if you find not comfortable with your right feet, you could try the other feet too. Pick the food you instinctively use to lead with if you slide or fall down. If you're using your left foot in the front, it's called a regular foot. And if you're using the right foot, it's called a goofy foot. Go for whichever way is comfortable for you. To step on the board, your front foot should be near the bolts and the second foot near the other end. The foot placement doesn't need to be absolutely precise, but widening it up helps you stabilize. Stand with your body parallel to the board. Upright posture, slightly bent knees with your weight evenly distributed. This is your basic body position on the board. And then we learn the basics of riding and pushing. So we're still bending our knees here. We tip all the heels all the time like this. So this time we make sure the environment in front of you. See if anyone's standing in front of you, people coming to you. If there's nothing around you, so you could check your eyes on your board. So stay focused, make sure we do this. It's like running. We're doing this. We skip yourself above your skateboard. We're going this. Push off your back foot and then quickly bring it back onto the board. You can redistribute your weight evenly between both feet. The back foot can rest on either the rear bolts or the tail. Oh my god, it's really hard to keep the balance, you know guys. It's, you need to use a lot of muscle in order to keep balance and I'm already very sweaty now. Before we wrap up the lesson, Kenneth taught me a very cool skill, which is called the toe side turn. Okay, so your toes must be right at the edge here. So you can press, bend your knees and press all the way, squat. Make sure you're both going one side. Now, time for me to okay, give it a go. Okay, check your feet position first. Squat, turn more shoulder, turn more your hips. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> yes! All right, all right. God. You just made it! And then I try this again without Kenny's help. Squat, turn more your shoulder, keep going, turn more shoulder, stay press, press, yes! It's fine now, yeah! So good. I feel like now I kind of get the flow now and you just need to be relaxed. All you need to do is to be relaxed and you'll be fine. Getting it right after several tries, the sense of accomplishment was real. You're not competing to anyone. You're competing to yourselves. You could, you could keep learning new stuff every day. I mean, you learn one thing, maybe you will lose it, but you will relearn again. You will keep doing all the same thing along the years. Skateboarding, like everyone doing the same tricks, but like we perform the tricks like in different areas. 
in like our own personality. It's a sport without boundaries, and like most sports, it allows you to make friends easily, pretty casual and pretty punk. But what impressed me most is the spirit of the skaters, their persistence and resilience to keep trying the tricks over and over again. It's not an easy sport and can be dangerous at times, but as skaters show, if you fall off, you stand up and do it again, and that gives you amazing tricks like this. Okay, after a quick experience of skateboarding, how do you guys think about my performance today? Uh, I think it's good. You skate, I think one to two hours, you learn all the fundamentals. I think you're a big learner now. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. And actually, I know that there are so many places in Hong Kong that you can go skateboarding, right, kid? Yeah, there are so many skate parks. And then, like, if you are in Hong Kong side, you can go Kennedy Town, right here. Mm -hmm. And I also know that Naris always goes skateboarding, right? Yeah, I would love to go skate every day, every single day. Every single day. So guys, if you haven't tried this board, definitely try it out and I hope you like this board and I will see you 